Breaking news from Vegas. Shooter's girlfriend played major role in Massacre. Details released. Although there is still no concrete reason for the Las Vegas concert massacre reports are now saying that the girlfriend of the shooter actually told authorities that they would likely find her fingerprints on some of Stephen Paddock's bullets, firearms, and magazines because she sometimes assisted him in loading ammunition into the magazines. The newly revealed documents do confirm though that Paddock had exchanged emails about buying rifles and bump stocks many months before he carried out the deadliest mass shooting in modern American history. Paddock reportedly used guns equipped with a device, which according to the left stream media allows semi-automatic weapons to fire almost as quickly as automatic ones, but in reality, all it does is cushion the kickback the bullet produces as it fires. Paddock also exchanged multiple emails on buying long-range scopes for his multiple weapons. The documents also confirm that FBI agents reportedly knew that Paddock had left behind big caches of guns, ammunition, and explosives for which they sought warrants to search his properties and online accounts. Via CNN Hundreds of pages of court documents unsealed Friday in the case of Las Vegas gunman Stephen Paddock offer a blueprint of investigators' pursuits in determining how and why the reclusive high-stakes gambler carried out the deadliest shooting in modern U.S. history. A federal judge on Friday made public more than a dozen search warrant affidavits that had been filed by the FBI in the days and weeks after the shooting. The judge did so in response to a lawsuit filed by CNN and other media organizations. The documents describe what investigators believed at the time the affidavits were filed, but do not provide up-to-date information about the investigation. An FBI spokeswoman in Las Vegas declined comment on the documents on Friday evening. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department did not respond to calls seeking comment. Among the revelations in the affidavits are discussions about mystery email exchanges that occurred two months prior to the attack, which investigators believed may have been related to shooting at the Las Vegas Music Festival in October, where 58 people were killed and hundreds of others were injured. Try an R before you buy. We have huge selection. Located in the Las Vegas area, read one message sent to an account investigators believe was controlled by Paddock the documents state. Later that day another email read, we have a wide variety of optics and ammunition to try. A third read, for a thrill try out bump firearms with 100 round magazine. Investigators at the time of the filing had been unable to determine if Paddock was sending emails between two accounts both belonging to himself, or was communicating with someone else. If there was a second person involved in the communications, an FBI agent wrote, investigators need to determine who was communicating with him about weapons that were used in the attack. A CNN review of public records shows that the email account linked to the sender is associated with a Steve P. Authorities have repeatedly stated that Paddock acted alone. Las Vegas killer had money troubles prior to attack, but motive still unclear, Sheriff says. The documents also noted that Paddock's girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley, told investigators that her fingerprints would likely be found on Paddock's ammunition, but she adamantly denied any advance knowledge of the attack, according to the court records. Danley offered this information as investigators were preparing to take a DNA swab from her, the records state. She told investigators her prints would likely be on the ammunition because she occasionally participated in loading magazines. The FBI agent who prepared the affidavit noted that Danley was cooperating with investigators and that the investigation to date has not produced any conclusive evidence that Danley aided Paddock, had foreknowledge of his plans, or has been deceptive with law enforcement. The agent also noted, this aspect of the investigation is still the subject of intense review. Hotel staff interacted with Las Vegas shooter more than 10 times before massacre. It is unclear what has transpired with respect to Danley since the affidavit was written on October 7. Danley's attorney did not respond to a call or text seeking comment on Friday evening. The court records also show that investigators sought to preserve the content of social media accounts on Instagram and Facebook linked to Paddock and Danley. An affidavit notes that Danley's Facebook account was deleted hours after the attack.
one affidavit filed in the early days of the investigation made a reference to the gunman's health. The investigation has also revealed that Paddock may have been treated for yet unidentified medical conditions, an agent wrote. CNN reported in October that Paddock testified in a deposition that he occasionally suffered from anxiousness, for which he was prescribed Valium. This confirms Paddock's actions were planned months in advance, and that doesn't fit the narrative the media is trying to tell us that he was mentally disturbed. The large majority of crimes committed by the mentally disturbed are crimes of reaction, where they don't plan meticulously for months as to how they will carry it out. Only a sociopath would, but if that would be the case he wouldn't have been able to make it well into his 60s without having any issues whatsoever with the law. This whole narrative just makes less and less sense. Paddock was very well off financially, had a decent life and was never thought of as a problem by anyone who knew him. Either this crime was better thought out than we can imagine, or authorities are keeping something from us. Please share if you want to get to the bottom of this crime, this crime.